In a four to one vote, the Danville School Board said goodbye to the Danville Indians. Local 22's Jolie Sherman has more on the decision and what's next. Changing the Danville school identity was no easy task for the school board. This was definitely the hardest decision I ever had to make as a school board member. School board chair Bruce Melendi has been part of the district for 30 years. Originally, he didn't find the mascot problematic. When you go to a game and you might wear a t-shirt that says Danville Indians or something, you never felt that you were being racist. You felt it was uh, you were honoring a tradition. Thing is, the logo wasn't historically accurate. We didn't wear big headdresses. Those were plain style Indian headdresses. Uh, you couldn't run through the woods with something like that on your head. <laughs> Uh, you know, that's not from here. Don Stevens is the chief of the Nulhagen Abenaki tribe, and Danville is the tribe's traditional homelands. But Stevens says the Danville Indians mascot was not only stereotypical, it also wasn't part of the school's culture or incorporated in students' learning. The moral and ethical thing to do is not, not appropriate other cultures and not lump us all into one stereotype of 500 nations into one image. That doesn't even you know, match who we are. A Danville senior brought these concerns to the school board in October, and quickly, other students followed her lead. You know, the mascot represents the school, and the school is the students that we have now, and the majority of the students in Danville don't feel that Indians is an appropriate representation or give, it doesn't give them something that they can feel comfortable cheering about. On Tuesday, the board voted to immediately eliminate the name and logo from school property and new sports uniforms. And a creative committee will select a new mascot in the coming weeks. Jolie Sherman, Local 22 News.